Hey y'all, let's talk fragrance. What's up y'all, it's your girl Jariah T and I'm back again with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're updated every time that I upload. And if you want a glimpse of my everyday life, follow me on my socials, they'll be here on the screen and they'll also be linked down below in the description box. Now let's get into this video. So this is my first ever Kayali fragrance. And the one thing I love most about these fragrances is the way that the packaging is. Like the top, like super cute, super unique. Like Kayali is one of those brands that when you see their packaging, it definitely stands out. And you could say, okay, yeah, that's Kayali. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry. Um, She's that girl, okay? She does retail for $85. And I think that is super duper affordable, especially when you're talking about a fragrance. Okay? So what influenced me to give this bad boy a try is people kept referencing it to Tom Ford Lost Cherry, saying that this smells exactly the same for a much cheaper price. If you don't know, Tom Ford fragrances usually range around $300 for a normal size bottle and up this i got this bottle for 85 dollars, and y'all when i say it literally smells the same it literally smells the exact same and the projection of this fragrance is absolutely amazing and the longevity of it lasts for about four to six hours which compared to tom ford tom ford's longevity doesn't perform quite as well for the price point so I definitely say if you do like Tom Ford Lost Cherry and you want something that gives you that same exact vibe, go ahead and pick this up. So before we get into the notes of this fragrance, I'm going to give you the info behind the fragrance. So it says, celebrate your love for life with this luxurious Woody Gourmand fragrance and awaken the free spirit within you. The enticing contrast of succulent burning cherries and raspberry accompanied by sweet caramelized praline against the smoky earthy notes of palo santo guacic wood and patchouli makes this a truly mesmerizing and euphoric scent i agree i definitely agree <laughs> now let's get into these notes so before i get into these notes i'm just gonna let you know this is a very complex fragrance so it has a lot of things in it and i may mispronounce a word here or there so just bear with me okay so the top notes is bergamot, raspberry, black cherry. The middle notes is rose, damascena, essence, jasmine, sandbag, heliotrope, and praline. The base notes is palo santos, guacic wood, patchouli prism, peru bal balsam, toka beans, absolute, vita haiti essence, and abritolide. Like I said, I may have mispronounced the word. Um, so just bear with me because some of these words and some of these notes I have never heard before, like the ambertolide, I don't even know what that is. If it's just saying amber, why can't you just say amber if that's what it is? So I sprayed it on here just to refresh my memory a little bit on how it smells because I haven't worn it in a while because when I first got it, I was wearing it so much that I'm like, okay, let me give it a break. But y'all, she smells so good, like. Oh, she smells so good. She's very sweet and sophisticated. This definitely makes a really, really nice date night scent. Like, she's very, like, I'm here, but subtle at the same time. She's super pretty. This is a scent that I also wear, like, towards the end of the winter, transitioning into spring. Because those cherry notes definitely bring a fresh vibe for me. And, yeah, it, I was just wearing this a lot in the winter time. Like, she's really, really good. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. I really do like it. Y'all know I love to layer my fragrances. So let me give y'all a few layering combos that I layered this with. So one of the combos that I came up with was this fragrance mixed with Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Y'all, I love Good Girl so much. Like, this was definitely one of the first perfumes that I ever got to start my collection. So she has been in my collection for a while, 
but i over a while i'm not gonna lie i get tired of certain fragrances so i haven't picked her up in a minute but one day i was like let me give this a try and let me give this a try and y'all these two together game changer like she's such a classic but adding this on top of it was definitely a game changer and i feel like now i could still wear her on her own but i'm just like i have to add this into it because it just brings like a oomph to it the next fragrance that i paired the brandon cherry with is a red temptation by zara this is the dupe for baccarat rouge 540 y'all these two together like it just gives ultimate boss vibes when i put these two together it's like you know what i know i'm about to have me a good day i'm just making money moves all day when i put these two together because that's what that gives just straight boss vibes i will be doing a zara fragrance haul let me know if that's something that you all would be interested in and let me know what fragrances that you have may have tried from zara so far i have a few but i will add some to my collection for the video so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments i don't even need to say no words because y'all already know ysl libre intense is that girl okay like she does phenomenal on her own but these two together the ultimate date night scent the ultimate date night scent like these two together just smell so sexy so sophisticating so i had to change my tone of voice when i say this because it's just like so like mwah, chef's kiss okay like don't say i did never put you on to nothing because I'm putting y'all on right now. So I have laid this fragrance with other fragrances. So if you want to see what fragrances those are that weren't mentioned in this video, you are going to have to go on my page and watch some of my other fragrance videos to see where you see her at. But overall, I love this fragrance. I give it a 10 out of 10. If you've ever tried this fragrance or you plan on picking it up, let me know down below in the comments. Let's chit chat. Also, comment down below any other fragrances you would like me to try and do a review on this channel. I love to talk to you guys and I love to interact with y'all. So make sure y'all comment. This is the end of my video and I hope you all enjoy. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.